Hey everyone, my name is Lance and I'm going to be showing you how to make these rubber band helicopters. This is one of my favorite projects. It's super easy to build and with a little practice you can get it to fly really high. Let's get started. Okay, here's everything you need. These are regular 1 8 by 3.5 inch rubber bands and you can find these plastic propellers on Amazon in the US. Also make sure that you use cardstock or index cards. Regular copy paper won't work for this. Okay, first, fit the propeller onto the craft stick, just like that. Then bend a paper clip, just like this. Use your thumb to hold the larger half of the paper clip against the other end of the craft stick and tightly wrap tape around it. Next, cut out and then tape on a piece of cardstock or index card. The shape of this does matter and I'll talk about that more in just a second. Make sure that the paper and the paper clip are on opposite sides of the craft stick. The last step is to attach two of these rubber bands. You can try one or three or more, but generally I found that two works the best. Okay, start winding by firmly grasping the bottom of the helicopter in one hand. Face the propeller toward you, and with your index finger, start winding it clockwise. As you wind it up, you'll notice that the rubber band gets tightly twisted. Keep twisting until the rubber band starts to coil on itself, like right here. Fill up the entire rubber band with this double coil, and that's about how much you need to wind it up. So there is a crucial technique for how to fly these successfully. Once it's all wound up, you have to let go of the propeller first with one hand and then let go of the bottom of the helicopter with the other hand, one after another. A good rule of thumb is to let go of them in the time that it takes to say tick tock, like this, tick tock. If you let go of both at the same time, the weight of the propeller is going to pull it down before it can start generating enough lift. And this means that it can tilt in a random direction and start flying. And that direction could be right at you. All right, so how does this work exactly? Well, obviously the twisted rubber bands are powering this propeller, which is generating lift, causing the whole contraption to fly, right? But what might not be obvious is the necessity of this piece of paper right here. So to illustrate that, here I have a helicopter that doesn't have any paper on it. I'm just gonna go ahead and wind it up and let it go and see what happens. Ready? Three, two, one. See, that didn't really get much height at all. So here's what's happening. When you release the helicopter, the energy in the rubber bands is actually being dispersed in two ways. Of course, it's spinning the propeller, but it's also spinning the whole bottom of the helicopter as well. And this part of the helicopter isn't providing any lift. It's just here to stretch out these rubber bands so we can get energy from them more efficiently. In other words, we want all of the energy from the rubber bands to be diverted to the propeller, but some of it is being wasted spinning the bottom of the helicopter. Additionally, this craft stick has a lot less inertia than the propeller. It's a lot easier to get it moving. So when you let this go, the energy of the rubber band is going to be dispersed down the path of least resistance, which is this craft stick. And almost all of the energy is wasted spinning this stick. So by adding this piece of paper, it actually creates a lot of lateral drag. The paper is pushing against the surrounding air, making it harder for the energy to be dispersed by spinning the craft stick. This in turn helps divert more energy to the propeller and we get a higher flight. So how can you use this to your advantage to get the best helicopter? Well, it's a balance. You might think that if you put a whole sheet of paper on here, that's going to generate a lot of that lateral drag. But a whole sheet of paper is too heavy for the helicopter and it still won't fly as high. On the other hand, if you add a tiny little scrap of paper onto here, this is too flimsy and it won't create that lateral drag. It won't resist the air around it. So the key here is to find a shape and size for the helicopter body that is large enough that it can create the most amount of that lateral drag as possible, but also not so heavy that it's weighing down the helicopter. I'll leave it up to you to experiment. If you find a great design, please go ahead and share it in the comments. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.